So today we're here at the Moto IQ garage to do some more work on our project GTR. Now the R35 GTR has one of the lowest drag coefficients of any car in, made actually, any production car. Uh, the drag coefficient is 0.26. Uh, which is really low. I mean, it's unbelievable that this big, huge car can have a drag coefficient that low. Um, another cool thing about the GTR is that it's one of the only f production cars that uh, makes actual front downforce. Almost every car made makes lift, but the GTR actually produces downforce in the front. Now, the GTR gets away with this because it has like a lot of attention to the undercar aerodynamics. Um, when you see the car, it's basically almost a flat bottom, and it has a lot of aero details like a front diffuser and also a functional rear diffuser, just like a race car. Now what these diffusers do is they actually make the car act like an upside down airplane wing. Now the natural shape of a car is like an airplane wing, so the flow path over the top is longer than the flow path on the bottom. And then this actually tends to create lift, so most cars actually make lift at speed, but the GTR makes downforce, and a lot of it is because of the underbody aero detail. Now, how would you like to improve your GTR's aero without spending a lot of money and a lot of time? Well, Veris Motorsports makes a kit that can reduce the drag coefficient to 0.25. So now this is huge. Uh, Nissan spent a whole bunch of money tried to improve the aero with the uh, Nismo version of the GTR. Um, they had to hire Williams to do it, and they did a bunch of CFD analysis and came up with a factory aero kit. But um, Veris, they've done their own CFD, they've come out with their own kit, and they've created, created a kit that you can buy, bolt on, it's not that hard to do, and it uh, reduces your drag coefficient and improves your downforce. Let's check out how it works. So some of the cool aerodynamic features of the GTR is the, um, some of the undercar details. Now if you look at the front, the whole front part of the car is like a flat bottom, just like a race car. This is all smooth, uh, gets rid of turbulence. Usually the area around the engine, there's a lot of things that hang down that create drag and turbulence, but the GTR has that covered with this cover. Now if you look here, leading into the low pressure area uh, where the front tires are, there's actually like a front diffuser. Now you see this, it pitches upwards at about seven degrees. This actually helps produce some negative pressure here and uh, contributes to the GTR's creation of downforce. Not too many production cars have features like this. Now, as we move back toward the back of the car, you can see how the flat bottom part kind of ends uh, Nissan probably left this open because they didn't want the exhaust to get too hot or something. So this is all open and the exhaust is here. This can actually create turbulence, and which is unfortunate because the turbulent air is coming backwards and it feeds the rear diffuser. Now the air will have some tumble to it and be turbulent, which will make some flow separation in, on the diffuser and make it a lot less effective. Now, uh, we're going to cover this with uh, a carbon fiber pan. Um, you notice how the GTR has like a lot of NACA ducts to feed the transaxle and keep various components from getting too hot. Um, so our carbon pan's going to have ducting and, and things, so hopefully the exhaust won't get too hot. Now, the rear diffuser is the critical area where you want the flow to stay attached to uh, help make downforce. Now, what... Uh, Veris has done is they've made like uh, some strakes that bolt to the bottom of this diffuser. Now the strakes act like vortex generators and really help keep the flow attached. And if, in uh, CFD simulation, um, it's approved the effectiveness of the rear diffuser by 11%. Actually, it's 13%. Okay, so what did Veris do? Well, they provided you with uh, four of these uh, strakes. Now what these strakes do is um, actually they create vortexes along the surface and the vortex is like a swirling little tornado and it helps curl the air up into the diffuser and makes it, make it work better. It also reduces drag. This is the uh, belly pan extension. So this comes off the front belly pan. It closes up the area uh, where the exhaust is hanging down creating turbulence 
makes a nice smooth airflow to feed the rear diffuser. These simple parts really reduce drag, make more downforce. They're unobtrusive, you can hardly see them. It's super cool, so let's go put them on. So after about 40 minutes of work, we got the various engineering um, streaks on the bottom of the uh, diffuser. Uh, looks really nice, it looks OEM. It's in there pretty solidly. It's pretty easy to do. And uh, we got 13% more downforce. So now the uh, center part of the car, which made a lot of turbulence with the open exhaust, is all covered by the, uh, the uh, carbon belly pan. So we have smooth airflow from the front of the car all the way to the back, and the airflow is smooth, non-turbulent, leading into the diffuser. Um, less drag, more downforce, that's a good thing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. To read more about Project GTR, check it out on MotoIQ.com.